getting through Saturday. It's a yeah. big weekend. Yeah, yeah, you know. Some folks are excited, some more than others. <laughs> You're ready to go. I told you. I told you I was going to bring you, it. Yeah. You, and, you and Terry got yourself ready to go. Did you see he changed his, there you go. Yeah. He changed his Facebook profile picture so fast and they won that last game. I was cracking up. Yeah, you know, but there's been some hesitancy on the part of Lions fans. Oh, like they don't want to get too excited? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we've, we've been down this road. We've never actually been down this road because we've never won two playoff games. But, you know, you, you get yourself set up and then, you know, you kind of fall flat. So uh, I wrote a little poem about that this morning, which we like to call The Weather Could Be Verse. And I will continue to wear my hat at least for whoops, the next couple of uh, seconds here while we get through it, if I don't trip over a cord. I finally bought a Detroit Lions hat. I think I've now conquered my fears. It replaces the brown paper bag I've worn for about the last 64 years. Yeah, uh, and that's true. I have uh, I've been around for a long time, and uh, you know the last net or the last uh, NFL championship the Lions won. This is way before they played the Super Bowl. Was in 1957. They didn't start the Super Bowl until 1967. The Lions have never been in it, and in those uh, 65 years, they've only won one playoff game before this year, and they've never won one on the road. Uh, unless you go way back to the 1950s. So we'll see how they do against San Francisco. Okay, let's take a look outside. I will step out. I'll take my hat off here for the uh, time being. I'll put it back on later, right? But you can see the fog that's out there. This is from our uh, station here at WNDU, State Road 933 headed south here, and uh, you can see the fog out over the Burke Golf Course this morning. We can see the gazebo. Now, the fog isn't as bad here as it is in some places, but as I've been noting, anytime you have the temperature and the dew point close together, you start to get the possibility of fog forming at ground level and there you go from uh, the Innova Federal Credit Union over in Elkhart. We look toward the downtown area and you can see some of the nearby intersections but in the distance you really can't make out anything and uh, you, again you can see the uh, temperature is 35 degrees there. Then as we uh, take a look over at Michigan City uh, this is just looking straight down from the top of the Blue Chip Casino at their entrance there. That's the entrance sign right there by the uh, the road as it comes in and it's 34 degrees. Notice again the dew point 34 so those match and that's the uh, dew point is the temperature at which that moisture condenses to form a cloud. So that's why is at ground level. That's the surface temperature, 34 degrees. All right, so uh, let's see what our radar looks like, and uh, you'll find that it's cloudy. Now, this really isn't showing fog, but it is showing clouds. So even above the fog, you've got clouds above. So let's just say the permacloud is here to stay, at least for a little while. Uh, on the national view, I wanted to show you this big storm. Now, this is a very fast-moving storm, and it's actually not coming directly at us. It's going to climb up the east coast this way and as it does we'll be right on this northwest edge eventually that's what will come through here and so you can see a few snowflakes there we may actually see some snowflakes overnight tonight but they will not stick because our temperatures will be at or slightly above freezing so uh, no accumulation expected from that fast mover as it comes through our current temperatures are generally above freezing this morning uh, you can see uh, even uh, well Winnemac is at 32 but Michigan City was at 32 last hour they're now at 34 so all Almost everybody above freezing uh, this morning and that will tell you that uh, this moisture that you might find in the fog and of course you get some drizzle and things like that uh, it will not be freezing on the roadways but look at these visibilities less than a mile in some cases less than half a mile over at Michigan cities we've noted three tenths of a mile so uh, very very bad visibility out there if you're driving this morning slow it down use low beams make sure you give yourself a little extra time to get where you're going so you can see the fog hanging in there in that uh, quarter mile to maybe two mile visibility for quite a while today. It doesn't look like that's going to improve very much. And future track will show you the clouds sticking around all day today. By seven o'clock tonight, we'll start to see a little bit of rain. That's that big storm, remember, that's going up the east coast. We're right on that northwest edge of it. So as you go through time into the early morning hours, about four o'clock tomorrow morning, you'll maybe notice a few snowflakes. But again, this will not be sticking on the ground because you see all these temperatures are above freezing. Even if we get a few flakes of snow, it won't make any difference, right? So you can see the clouds then to stick around through Sunday into Monday and eventually, hey, what is that? We might actually by Monday or Tuesday see a few rays of sunshine, maybe. Uh, certainly by the end of the week, though, and we'll have the details of your 10-day forecast right after a short break.
Skip the gym membership and diet resolutions in 2024 and make a resolution you'll want to keep for years to come. Invest in your comfort this new year with a brand new heating and cooling system from Crystal Valley Comfort and save some money too because when you purchase a qualifying AC system, we'll include the furnace for free. Start the new year in style and comfort and rest easy knowing we're dedicated to five-star service. Give us a call or visit crystalvalleycomfort.com to schedule your free furnace installation today. And we start out the uh, the weekend here, 40 degrees today, 39 tomorrow. We may see a few snowflakes overnight, but again, no worries, it's not going to stick. Uh, and it certainly won't stick the rest of the week. Look at the end of the week, 43, 44, and sunshine. Wow, can you believe that, Thursday and Friday? And next Saturday and Sunday, mid-40s, maybe even upper 40s. Hey, if we're lucky, maybe we hit 50 degrees, I doubt it, but uh, still, upper 40s. What a vast change from when it was 11 below zero just about a week ago. Right. Hey. Hey. Go Lions. I'm, I'm scared to say. I'm going to say go Lions because I have to work with you next weekend, and I want you to be in the best mood ever, though you all, you always are. Yeah, you know, and you know what? If they if they don't beat the 49ers, it's still been a great season, and there's oh, always wonderful. next year to look forward to. They're, they're much, much improved, so. I love it, but yeah. we're going we're going to go for the W. Yep. Well, listen, happening today, you might want to grab one of these hats. You think about that warmer weather you might be having, thinking about summer and everything that comes.